Hi everyone. Okay, I just wanted to showcase for you some new stamps from Kitchen Sink Stamps and I will do tutorial videos on how to layer these up, but I wanted to show them to you. They're so beautiful. Um, the first one is called The Old World Door. And that is this guy here. And doesn't that look dimensional? Like, don't you feel like you could just walk? But look, it's a single layered card. What an optical illusion, right? But isn't that so fun? Um, so the door itself is a five-layer door. And I did, um, I wrote down the colors that I stamped it out in the inks. But it does come with a layering guide to show you um, how to do it. I just did it in the order, you know, one, two, three, four, five. I followed the colors they have on here. So I did a light gray, um, a light brown, a medium brown, and then, oh, uh, number one is here, sorry. <laughs> a light gray, a lighter brown, um, a darker gray, a darker brown, and then black. And then it also has this layered ivy. It has a little butterfly and it has this layer cluster of roses. So I made a very easy card with it. Just stamping that door out using that color combination right here in the center. I did the ivy one time here, a little shorter here, here and here. And here you can see the rose clusters. They look like real roses. I mean, they are so dimensional looking. And then here's the little butterfly. Now for the background, all I did was I used a Tim Holtz uh, stencil. Um, this is a stencil THM S086. Um, and I just, after stamped everything, ran that through and just put some ink around there. And I just absolutely, like, I, I just cannot believe how dimensional looking it is. Now, also, don't forget with kitchen sink stamps, you can get free SVGs when you purchase the stamps. So you just add the SVG to your basket. I have practiced um, cutting the SVGs out. And this one's pretty neat because it comes in layers. And I'll show a video with this where you can actually stamp it and open it as a side door. You can leave it as a solid door. Oops, I have a little tape on there. So you can leave it as a solid door SVG this way. <laughs> so you can see it's a perfect fit to the stamp. You can do it so that the door opens up. And I'm actually thinking about maybe layering these and doing like a pop open. There's also an option to do the doors so that it opens this way. Okay. And then there are some center pieces. If you wanted to stamp something inside the center, maybe you wanted to stamp something on the inside of the door here as it opens up. But a lot of great design ideas just with the door and the SVGs and all of these SVGs come with it. So make sure when you purchase it, you throw those in your basket. They'll work with your electronic die cutting machine. I have cut with my um, Silhouette Cameo and also the Scan and Cut and also uh, the new Baby uh, Cricut Joy. So that works. Um, not only do you get that, you get the little pieces of, I call them vines, you know, whatever you want to call them. So you get those and you get the um, flower clusters as well. So the SVG has all of that in there. I love, love, love this door. All I was thinking was, oh, I should have put some um, embossing paste through there, some grit paste or something. But I have a lot of fun ideas to use this. It's very old world. The, the name is perfect for it. If you've been to uh, Europe or Italy, um, it does look like that in several areas. And I also think it would be cute to do maybe like a fairy garden, like you open that up and there's a silhouette of a fairy back there or something. But I love that one. So that one is called old world door okay so that is the first one and i wanted to show you and again i didn't do anything extra to that one except use the tim holt stencil around the outside okay so that's that one all right the second one that i have to show you is actually combining two of the other stamp sets and this one is called grand peony and again, you can see there's a very large peony. There's a smaller peony with a stem and some leaves. And I haven't stamped out the smaller one. I just did the large one. But you guys, look at how large that is. 
So this is also a, a five layering flower. The smaller flower is four layers. And then the stem is three layers. Sorry, four layers for the stem. And they're all numbered. And that's what I like about kitchen sink stamps is they're all numbered. So you figure out what order you want to do them in. You can go the five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, three, two, four, five, one, whatever you order you want to do them in, but they're all labeled for you. There are also little notches that tell you where to notch up the stamp so that you get it aligned properly. So that makes it easy. There is a small little leaf here. Um, that's a three layer little leaf there. And then, like I said, a little small setup there. So let me show you that one. So on this one, I actually stamped it directly on the paper here using some peaches and corals. And then on this one, again, I ran it through my die cutting machine using a um, matching SVG. And I've used all three machines, the Silhouette, the Scan and Cut, um, the Cricut Joy. And you don't have to do any adjustments. You just um, download the file and then cut and you can see it matches up perfectly and then here is what the cut file looks for the small flower with the stem on it and then on this particular flower I or pick card I use the um, SVG file for the cloud stencil which you can also download from kitchen sink stamps I did the clouds around the flowers the second flower I do have popped up on some foam tape there and then this Happy Spring as part of a new sentiment set. I'm going to show you that. And then the butterfly came off of the uh, layered butterfly set. So that's already in the shop. You can pick that up no problem. Um, so again, that one is called Grand Peony. It is a giant peony, perfect for this time of year because they're beautiful, fragrant flower that come out between spring and summer. Um, just beautiful, beautiful flowers, but nice large bloom. So this is a typical A2 size card. And you can see that this bloom <laughs> is so big, but wonderful size um, flower there, right? Okay. And then the new sentiment set is called Bold Four Seasons Greetings. This is just your kind of you know, fun little, hi, how are you sentiments? I'm making a card. I don't know exactly what to put on there. Like this one here, you just put a little, you know, simple sentiment that can go anytime. So now these can go on my card stash. But let me show you these. They're super cute. All right. So we have Hello Summer. And there's a cute little sun that goes with that. It's separate. So you can stamp it with or without. It's fall, y'all. I love this one. Love, love, love this one. And then we have Welcome Winter and some uh, little snowflakes. And then Happy Spring is the one you already saw me use. And then uh, Let There Be, and you can use that anywhere. So you can say Let There Be Sunshine. In fact, I think that is the sample. Yeah. So on the sample, she has Hello Summer three times, and then Let There Be, and then a little sun there. So Let There Be Sunshine. So really fun, cute little stamp set. It's just a little sentiment. Sometimes, like I said, you just don't know what to put on a card. You can't go wrong with happy spring, hello summer, welcome winter, and it's fall, y'all. Right? So when you make these beautiful cards, it just looks good. And you can get the outline SVGs for these as well if you want to cut them out and uh, layer them on your card. I like to stamp directly on my card, but if I mess up, I know that I can always go back and stamp it on another piece of paper, cut it out, and glue it right over. But very classic font goes with any theme that you have. And it's just a nice, cute stamp set. If you have a stamping friend and you're looking for a, a gift, this is a nice little gift to get them um, because I'm sure they don't have it yet. It's brand new. Oops. And they're high-quality photopolymer stamps, again, made in the United States. Super fast shipping. Uh, just a good company. Oh, all right, let me put those aside. And then the final stamp set I haven't stamped out yet, but I will. And like I said, I will do little tutorial videos on these so you can see exactly um, how to layer and stamp them up. And I'll also share with you the types of inks and the color combinations I used. Um, this last one is called, hold on. And you can see these are brand new stamps. They don't even have cover sheets for them yet. But how, how cute is this one? So a lot of us jumped on, I know I have the, um, so many companies did like door dies and did like outside um, home front dies and, you know, porch dies. I have a few of those or porch stamps. Um, 
And this is a nice set to do as an accent to those. You know, we have the, the Christmas door dies. We have the beach porch set. So this is a nice accent. So first of all, you get a four layer pot here and you can do that in a nice orange to make it look like a terracotta pot. You could do it in gray to make it look like a clay pot or your traditional brown pot, which they have here. And then you get a set of topiaries and this is really neat. So you have this one, which is kind of the swirl topiary. So you have layer one, two, and three, very easy to line up. You put it right there in the pot. You have this one, which I'm just going to call like a little bushy evergreen. So you have one, two, three for that one. And then this one is like a little lilac bush. So this one you can do just the greenery if you want, but it also comes with some florals. So you can leave it with just the greenery, it's personal preference, but I would do these. You could do um, purples to make it look like lilacs. I was even thinking if you did these in yellow, it would almost look like those small pansies that kind of cascade outside of the basket. So you actually get three sets of of images there and your set of pots, okay? But also, look at this against the door. Like, how perfect would it be to stamp this out? And again, this is an A2 size card. If I put this topiary here on each side of the door, it would fit perfectly. That would look so, so nice there. You know, and this door would look great if you have a little wreath you can die cut and put that on there in the winter time. Um, but the size of these bushes, these little topiary bushes, are perfect to put on either side of the door. Um, even the little potted plant, look at that. Then it really does look like a little Italian door. You put it right there in front. I would cut this out. I do have the die cuts here. Let me show you actually. All right, so here's one. This would be one of the swirl ones. Let's make sure I have the swirl going in the right direction. Okay, so this would be, for example, if you did the pot and the plant right in front. And if you pop this up with some dimensionals, it would literally look like you are staring at a door with these topiaries on each side. So the perfect size on an A2 size card. The card panel is cut to five and a quarter by four. Okay, so that's one. Um, here's the short evergreen one so again just fits perfectly there on either side and then here is the if you wanted to do the pot and the plant separate you can do that as well um, here is the pot and then the little lilac bush you can do that You could even do the pot, do one of these topiary um, bushes, and you could do the little roses kind of in clusters around there, or the other one, the one that's a little, the little evergreen looking one, you could do that one. You know, just depending on changing your colors up, if you change this to a lighter color green and not so dark, you could put these rose clusters on there and make it look like it's kind of like uh, roses coming up. So a lot of neat ideas with these stamp sets, and I love how they coordinate with each other, and you can mix and match it. Let's say you do, maybe you do like the little potted plant here and you can shorten that pot let's say you want this pot to be a shorter pot you don't have to do as high as it is you can put the the flowers in front of there and then maybe use this to do the topiary over there maybe you don't even use the door maybe you just do a whole fresh set and let me just put a card front here let's just imagine here that you just do this fun maybe like a garden scene I have some flower print paperwork here somewhere. Just let's just use our imagination. <laughs> All right, this is going to have to do for now. But maybe you have like a flowery background and you want to just do some plants, you know? You can just you can do all kinds of potted plants. Like my mother-in-law is big into doing gardening and plants. I could literally just make her card with all of these plants on there 
Maybe just do three. Here's here's one with the roses. I could do a whole bunch of the little roses. And I know you're not seeing them stamped out. You're using your imagination here. But I'm just saying you could do that. And then you could do a, hey, you know, happy spring sentiment on there or something like that. So a lot of uh, diverse things you could do with these stamp set. I have never seen anything quite like these where not only are you getting the magnitude of the quality of the layered stamps. I mean, no one, I, I haven't seen the realistic 3d look as these there are a lot of layered stamp companies out there but the cool thing about kitchen sink stamps is they really look real um they don't just look 3d they look real i mean i can't stop staring at this door and that was the first time i stamped it out guys i used my mini misty i did line it up and i'm just like blown away at how realistic that door looks if you have someone that's a, tr a world traveler, they would love that. Um, as far as the grand peonies, who doesn't love peonies? I mean, they are very fragrant. I, you know what I don't like about peonies? They collect, they attract ants for some reason. If someone can tell me how to keep the ants away, I would appreciate that. But the big peonies would be great for Mother's Day, for thinking of you, um, for how about sympathy? I mean, flowers are always a, a staple in our stamp sets and to have something as large as that it actually makes it easier because then you're not filling the card in with fluff you have a large flower on there you can put a nice little delicate sentiment kitchen sink stamps has a whole bunch of other sentiments that are very scripty and beautiful um, but just a very nice floral image so again, just to recap those four new stamp sets for you, again, don't forget to put the SVGs into your cart when you're checking out. The SVGs will be free once you're purchasing them with the stamps. High quality photopolymer stamps made here in the United States, shipped very quickly. The four stamps are the Grand Peony Set, the um, Old War, Old, I have to look at old world door i keep saying old war door <laughs> old world door the um potted topiaries is the official name for those and then the cute little sentiment set is called bold four seasons greetings all right so there you go guys if you have any questions you can post them down below i will link everything for you thanks for watching and keep on stamping Bye bye